and I'm going to turn the edits off. And that's where we started. And that's where we finished. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a photo correction, fix the photo kind of job that I did for a colleague of mine. Uh, they sent over this shot and said, hey, um, we did these shots, and I guess originally they thought the pink would be a good idea, but in retrospect, maybe not. Is there anything you can do to remove the pink? And the first thing I said was, what in the hell did you do here? Like, what were you thinking, right? But um, that's what I thought, you know, in my mind. But, you know, also we've all been there, right? As photographers, we've all kind of done something, botched the lighting, done something, and we're trying to fix it in post, right? Uh, if you say that you haven't, you're, you're lying because we all have. Um, so we've all been there. And so, you know, it, we all have different various skill levels and some of us are able to, you know, we figured out how to fix some of this. I looked at this and I thought, I'm not sure if I know if I can do a good job here on this. I have some ideas that could potentially could work. So let's just get into it. Um, I started off here and this is where I ended up. Okay. So I think I was able to do a pretty good job in the end. There's still some magenta hues here on the hands and, um, you know, maybe a little bit throughout um, but if you look at the the end result and the beginning, we've we've gone quite a quite a way. So let's go ahead and and I thought originally I would try to deal with this in Photoshop. I would use a mask and I would brush on uh, maybe some color grading to remove the magentas uh, and the reds. And I gave that a shot and knew pretty quickly that that was not going to be the solution. You know, we've got red tones on the face, which I did leave a little bit in the end. You can still, in the final, there's still a bit a little bit, of, but I think that's just natural skin tones, right? Um, you can disagree, but, I, you know, I, I decided that was a judgment call. But So let's go into, I think this is definitely a job for Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop. All right, so before we do that, I think the the mistake that I made, I'm going to move me out of the way again, initially was I took this directly into the Photoshop without fixing the white balance first. So you can see the white balance is, um, it's too warm. We need to bring it back a little bit cooler, right? Um, so, and again, I really didn't, when I did this the first time I was winging it. So I think, let me go a little bit more. I think right there might be a little bit cool, but We'll, we'll keep it right there. So I think we've, uh, that's kind of fixed the white balance for me and a lot of the yellow tones, especially in the background and on our shirt, there's still a tiny bit of yellow. There's still some yellowish green on the skin that I, I did have to end up doing some stuff in Photoshop to fix that afterwards. And I think just getting the white balance correct to begin with um, in Lightroom is the way to go. Save you some steps in Photoshop. So let's, and this is a JPEG. Um, the photographer was shooting, was not shooting in RAW, so we don't have a lot of leeway, but it's surprising how much leeway you actually do have in JPEGs. Um, you are still able to do a lot. You're just, you're mainly not able to, in my experience, um, push the shadows and highlights, right? Um, like you can a RAW file, and there's just a lot more data in a RAW file. Um, so you may end up with more artifacts to your work uh, in dealing with a straight JPEG, right? So we've got her here. I'm going to move me back down. The first thing I'm going to do here is we want to deal with the elephant in the room, which is the magenta. How are we going to get rid of that? So my first thought was to come down here and do selective color. All right. We could do hue sat. Um, and try that but I really want to target that color so if we bring up the selective color uh, we look at let's just start by you know bringing down the not the cyans but the the magentas and the reds right and I do it over the whole shot just to see what what we're doing so that takes it away right it makes her look green and we'll go down to the magentas and we'll remove the magentas and that does a pretty good job of clearing out the magentas. Not fully, um, but maybe there's another area here we can bring out the magentas and the whites. No. I'm looking at the hair just trying to 
Let's see what we can do. Let's just start there. That gets us 80, 90% of the way there. Of course, we've impacted the entire shot, right? Um, with this. And so what we want to do is go to the mask here and block it. We want to just disable everything. To do that, we click on the mask and hit control I, and that just turns everything off. And the way to bring it back selectively and brush that effect on to the areas you want to is to make sure you're over here um, in this area. You want to pick this arrow color and make sure you are painting with white. And I'm just going to go to my brush tool. I'm going to do a flow of like uh, 30%. And let's just start painting this effect on. And you can see that I can target this area, right? And I'll make my brush a little smaller. So I can come down and take those magentas out of the hair. Now it's pretty evident here. Um, when I get to the skin, this is you know too much here, so I'm gonna take it out of there, right? When I get to the skin, I probably wanna lower the intensity and be a little less deliberate. Now I go here and it's not taking it fully out on the shirt, but pretty good job. So down here, here's why I really didn't do a great job on the last one, you can see when I do this, it kind of turns the fingers green, and maybe that's why I left it. I'd rather have a little bit <laughs> red in the fingers than green, right? Um, so let me bring the flow down then to like 10% and be a little less deliberate, right? And just kind of hit some of these red spots. Again, kind of making things a little bit green, but... It's a trade-off. So now we go, you know, her cheeks are, I can't tell if maybe her cheeks are red like that always, you know, she, they might be, but I'm just going to get some of the red out of the, and I'm just kind of dabbing on here. I don't want to take the red completely out of her skin. So that gets us a good ways there. Let me go up to a hundred and just see if we can get this in the hair. So we still have a little bit in the hair, right? We're going to deal with that. And it's turned the hair like she was... Um, look at the hair column and turn the layer off. You can see the hair is a different color here than over here. So we might want to blend that color in. And maybe that will cover that up a little bit. So um, my thought to that and the way that I was able to blend maybe this color a little bit more into the hair over here. And the skin is not quite blended very well I'm going to do a new blank layer and I'm going to keep my brush tool I'm going to set my flow to like 30 percent I can't remember how I did this last time exactly but I set my so let me get a a sample I'm going to get a sample say of a, a not the yellowish tones but maybe a skin tone that that I like right here okay and I start painting on here at like, what am I, 30%? Let's do like 10%. Control Z. You can see that it's, I'm just painting with a color, right, over these areas. And, um, you know, that's great, but I've lost all the texture and it just looks like I dab paint on there, right? And maybe I come up here and I select this color and maybe kind of just paint you know, a little bit here and maybe just a little bit there and a little bit there, right? Just to get those greens out. But, you know, obviously this is not going to fly. I've just, all I've done is taken a brush and I've painted. So let's set the blend mode of this layer to color. And now look what we've done. I'm going to turn the layer off and I'll turn it back on. We've, by setting the blend mode to color, you know, that layer of just static paint has now blended into the skin, right? And so now I can come here and kind of just paint that, this skin tone color, however I want it, 
onto the skin and it doesn't look like just I slapped a layer of paint on there, right? Now, there may be a better way to do this. This is just kind of what I figured out from trial and error. Put in the comments how you would do it. I'm not a Photoshop expert. I work on portraits, right? I'm not a, a graphic designer. I don't know all the tricks that you graphic designers know, okay? This is what I know um, just from the tools that I know, right? So maybe I come over here, get some of this white on here because there was still like a magenta cast. And then I can come maybe down here, kind of paint on these fingers a little bit just to get some of the magenta tones out, right? And so like if I set the layer, you see what I did there? I set the the layer mode right here where it says color and I'm on this layer. Originally it was normal, right? And I've got all this paint and I mean, it just doesn't look right. It looks like I painted over everything, right? So I set the blend mode to color. And so now if we turned that layer off, it's very subtle, but if you look say um, at the forehead and the cheeks, and the this area here around the neck um, there's a difference I've gotten rid of some of the green tones and some of that magenta now we could come up here we'll do another layer we'll call this this one the hair okay we'll call this one the skin so we can manipulate them separately so um, we've lot her hair sort of looks gray and then there's still like a magenta. I, I don't know. This just doesn't quite look right. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set this to color, this blend mode to color. And then I'm going to come over here and maybe on the hair, let's start there. I'm going to hold down the alter option. I'm going to sample that color right there. And you know what? If anybody knows, like I notice when I do this and I get one, two, I don't know. There's like three colors that it's sampling. Now, if you go up to the eyedropper, someone was asking about this earlier. You go up to the eyedropper tool. I can set my sample size to five by five average. Is that carrying over when I go to the brush? Because it seems like I'm only getting three. So like if I do five by five average and I come here, one, two, okay, it's showing three colors. So it's getting, it's averaging, uh, I would assume five colors and averaging together. Um, and I'm just wondering, is that carrying over? So now when I go back to the brush and I use the dropper tool, is that carrying over? Like you see right here, yeah, it's three different colors. So it's three colors. Though. I would expect to see five in there. So let me know in the comments if you know kind of how all that works. Okay. Um, so let's back to where we were right there. Let's get that color right there. And... Uh, We'll kind of paint that on. And now we've kind of gone over. We've turned her back to a blonde, right? I feel like her hair almost looks gray there. Let me make the brush a little bigger. And you see this? We've kind of given her, you know, she's a sandy blonde. This is the color hair I used to have, by the way, when I had hair. <laughs> it was kind of a light a dark blonde, a dirty blonde, as it were. Okay. So let me turn that layer off. See there, that's with it off and that's with it on. Maybe it's a little bit too much so we can pull back the opacity up right to about 80%. Turn it off, turn it on. Now let's bring this color right here and bring it back down here because this looks a little green to me, right? So we'll do that. And so that kind of blends it a little bit more. And, you know, that's pretty much it. I think the other thing maybe I did was I come in here, got under the eyes a little bit, just kind of cleaned that up. Um, it's still a little yellow under the eyes there. We could um, come back to this layer, go to skin, maybe here. And we don't want her to look jaundiced right under any circumstances go here pick this right just kind of get some of that it's a little bit of red in there still so you know not 
I mean, I'm working with the JPEG guys, right? It's still not 100% perfection, but um, there is where the, the goal was, the ask was, can you get rid of this pink magenta light that's being cast on her? And the answer is yes, I can. And I did. And I'm going to turn the edits off. And that's where we started. And that's where we finished. Could I work on this a little bit more? You say, yeah, maybe the skin tones aren't perfect. There's still some yellowish green areas, sure. But for all intents and purposes, we got probably 90% of the way there. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this kind of uh, video and uh, these kind of tutorials, just give it a like and give me a subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.